Yeah, this time I'm going to do some respect by Gladys Knight. You know, loved her with the Gladys Knight and Pips. One of the greatest voices ever. One of the most soulfulest artists ever. You know, you hear Midnight Train to Georgia on and on. All the way up to uh, Sadie Over Time for me, you know. From Motown to Buddha Ruckets to Columbia Ruckets. What an incredible, soulful singer. You know, and it's always important to always pay your respects to show that love. We have greats alive, and I've always like <clears throat> she's one of my favorite female artists, one of my favorite artists ever. Period. Loved her, love her, the soulful feeling she's displayed over the years, and what she's meant. And I saw her at the Aretha Franklin uh, services, and she held it on. She held it real good. She has not lost a thing. She's just always, you know, steeped in soul, just like her voice and the power of what she's about, and. um I've always admired Gladys Knight, read her book, you know, followed her career. Um, always dealt what she's about. And um, I wanted to always, like, you know, just hear those songs. Since I, you know, hearing uh, Gladys Knight and Pip's take, I heard it through the grapevine. It was soulful. I mean, that thing had you clapping. And that's not the kind of song that you sit there and you're like, you know, if you listen to the lyrics. But there's a breakup song, sad song. And in year, neither one of us wants to, neither one of us. And, <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> she has so much depth, so much range, and feeling. And that's the key. That, see, back in the day, that was the ultimate compliment to be called a soul singer, you know, because that meant you had it, you know. And so uh, that that gift, that tone, that range, that that's a powerful thing. And... Um, I've always dug that and admired that about her, you know. Um, she just lives, she lives just you feeling more, you know. You know, you hear her singing, I Will Fight, and Landlord. You know, there's so many great songs that has highlighted um, the greatness of her career, what she's about. And Glass Nine and Pips are in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and rightfully so. And they should be even more acknowledged, and she should be especially more acknowledged because... Let's be realistic. She out sings over the majority of these of these female artists out today, and ain't even close. You know, last night could run, could show, could show Beyonce how to run them runs properly. They're on the grind. Anybody want to throw up there? Christina Aguilera. Don't shout. Don't scream. Listen to some Gladys Knight and get it right, cause she is the epitome. She's one of them faces that's got the soul the dexterity, and the skill set. Okay, respect by Gladys Knight's name. Out.